Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually make bulk edits to your YouTube videos uh, using just within the YouTube studio. Now, this is actually my private account, but it has just a handful of, uh, of videos on it. Uh, but uh, basically, the way it works is if I want to add some information to the to the descriptions and that sort of thing of this video, I can actually go into my YouTube studio, top right here. So I click on the icon, YouTube studio. If I go into my videos here, just want to stress this is not my main channel, but uh, just a, a, a private channel which has some private videos on it for family. That's why a lot of this stuff is blurred out. But if I filter this and go with visibility, choose public videos, let's say I want to make some changes to these videos. So I'm going to actually click and tick these three boxes here. I'm actually going to go to edit. And you see here we have all these options here. For example, if I want to change something on the title, I can insert at the beginning, I can replace them all, or I can insert at the end. So I can actually even, at the end, I can just say um, personal video. And I can click update. And because I've only got three videos selected, uh, it's a relatively safe thing for me to do for the sake of this video. You actually sit there and think about it and make those edits to the video title. Now I have these three titles at the end. Now I can also go in and edit again. I can do things like tags if I want to. I can add tags to each and every video or I can simply go to remove the edit. But one of the big things that is probably uh, obviously little bits and pieces here, license, embedding, we can change options. So that way, if you need to change any options with your embedding or your comments, you can do that uh, in a very bulk sort of fashion. You have to go through and do these all one by one. You can change the category, the audience. Uh, it's a pretty handy sort of thing. But one of the things that really interests me the most, which you might also find interesting, is let's say you've gotten to a point you realize, I really need to get this information on all of my videos. So I go to edit and description. Uh, I recommend obviously not inserting it at the beginning because you want the beginning of your video description to have some of your keywords and bits and pieces in there to make it found. So what I want to do is actually insert at the end, follow me on Twitter and maybe I have a Twitter handle there. Uh, you know, I don't even know if that's actually my Twitter handle. So, and maybe even uh, find me on Facebook or something like that. And I can add in, obviously you want to put a bit more detail in here, like the actual URLs. So that way, if you have a Facebook URL, so it might be slash Wade L McMaster. I can actually add this information to the end of the description of each video. So once again, if I click update videos, I understand the implications. It's obviously, you want to be careful with this because it can be easy to basically you know, destroy a lot of <laughs> information or get something wrong. So you do want to make sure you're being very cautious when you're doing these updates. But it's great for adding information like social media links and things like that to the end of all your videos in one hit. And obviously the more videos you have, the longer it takes. So if I go into this video here, you'll see here I've got follow me on Twitter and then another line here. Now one thing you notice is because there was no enter, it's actually just attached it to the end. So that's just something to be aware of when you're when you're doing this. So I'm actually gonna head on back and discard those changes, I'm not too concerned. And I'm gonna get edit the description again, but this time I'm going to remove. I'm gonna remove the at Wade L McMaster. So I'm going to actually remove this text and I'm going to update the videos. Now these aren't videos that I've watched a hell of a lot, so I'm not really too concerned about what happens here, but you get an idea. So now if I go into this description, you'll see it says follow me on Twitter, and now my handle has actually uh, been removed. So you kind of get the idea. It's a, it's a very easy way to remove certain pieces of information, add in other pieces of information. The follow me on Twitter bit is a little bit weird there by itself. So once again, I'm actually just gonna go into my description again remove, paste that in there, update that to remove that line of text and just have the uh, Facebook link on there. But it just shows you how easily you can bulk edit just simply by ticking the videos you wanna change 
and navigating through those options. Other actions, of course, you know, you can delete these videos, add them to certain playlists, but the editing is sort of what we're focusing on today. And uh, yeah, and obviously if you're, you can go through, some of these might be different for you. I don't know if you can actually change monetization settings. I think you can actually change monetization settings in bulk. Uh, visibility, you can make these all private or unlisted. So it's just a really easy and simple way. But the main thing is I think for a lot of people is things like adding tags, adding things to titles and adding information into your descriptions is gonna be really handy, especially since with the description, like I said, you can insert in the beginning or insert at the end. Inserting at the end is really powerful. You can replace them all with the one description, which I don't recommend if you you should have a unique description for each video. So it's sort of searchable. Yeah, I thought that was a handy little uh, tutorial for you. So yeah, if you found that useful, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. It's only a quick and easy video, but uh, just one that could be handy for you in particular. So. Um, yeah, if you want more videos on YouTube, I've got a few other YouTube tutorials and I'll have more coming in the future. Please subscribe. And also, if you have any requests for information on how to do things in YouTube, please don't be afraid to leave a comment and ask because uh, I'm happy to sort of see if there's anything I can show you. I simp I'll do my best to create a video for you. And uh, yeah, that way you've got the information you need. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.